So we're going to do a quick uh, overview of how to use kbfirmware.com to build your um, build your firmware for your Signum series keyboard. Uh, the first thing to do is to go to the trefletcher.net slash config.html and find which Signum series you have. The first one is the Signum 3.0 and that's a pure 40% and the PCB is usually black. Uh, and then there's a Signum 3.1, which is usually green and is uh, has that extra number row along the top of it. And it has some other uh, features. So if we, we're gonna set this up for the Signum 3.1. So we can just click Signum 3.1 PCB. That'll bring us down here. And we want the kbfirmware.com config file. And it says uh, here, right click, save link as. So we'll just go ahead and save that one. Save link as, I've already saved it obviously. So we'll save that. That's our file. And now we'll go to kbfirmware.com and we've got a, uh, a blank, let's get a blank slate here. There we go. So here's, here's how it looks when you start here. There's presets in there, but we don't care about those because we're gonna upload a builder configuration that, we, uh, that, we, that I've already set up for you. So go ahead and choose this, uh, our file here, signal 3one kbfirmware.com. There we go. <clears throat> And this is the wiring, it's already filled out. These are the pins, uh, those are already set, so don't worry about those at all. I just go straight to the key map, and from here you can take a look at what uh, what is present. Uh, sorry, this screen displays it a little bit better. It's kind of washed out on this monitor. <laughs> um, but you can see what, uh, what keys are present in those positions. Now, one thing to note about the Signum 3.1 is that the uh, the key position this this key position here is exactly the same so this this position and this uh, this third thumb position is the same key so when you look at this key right here or this key right here if that key is not populated and you've got an extra thumb key on the inside that's that's what that position is so just, just remember if you're changing this one you're changing that that third button on the inside of the thumb key uh, so <clears throat> here you can pretty much click whatever you want you can choose uh, let me turn off Vim fix in here. Uh, you can click on the key and then just press a different key if you want to change it to something. Um, but we don't. Ah, Q, W, E. Okay. This is the top layer. Uh, and you can layer underneath those. I highly recommend doing that. There's a Mo right here. That's for the layer. That's your, your primary thumb button on this side. On the left side is that, that momentary layer switch. And it changes to layer one. So here you can, like I said, you can change any of the keys you want. If you want to press a key that's, uh, you know, if you want to hit like F11 that the browser would interpret, uh, you can go ahead and you can click on it. And then down here, it has what that key is. You just click it. This is a button actually. And then you can go to the, this is the primary keys represented. Uh, and then secondary has some extra keys. So like F11 or something like that, in case you want to press this and not hit F11 on your keyboard, because <laughs> uh, that'll change something else. So once you do that, um, what was I? I think I changed that to a, a minus. Uh, so you can change that however you like. That's weird. Never mind. I'm not. This is not important. Okay. Yeah. It's still not doing it. Okay. <laughs> And then if, if it gets stuck like that, like in that example, <laughs> you can just click on the key and then choose it from here. Uh, but as far as layers go, you're looking at layer zero right now. So that's the primary layer that's on top of the keyboard. Uh, when you start typing, this is what's gonna show up. Um, now, if you wanna change that, when you hit this, this thumb key right here, this momentary switch, it'll change to layer one. That's what mo means, momentary change for layer. So we'll change this to layer one and take a look at what layer one has. <clears throat> So we can see we've got left, down, up, right. We've got escape, enter, tab, uh, and then this this Mo one. This matches the previous layer. So layer zero, this is Mo one, and layer one, this is Mo one. So it, I think it has to be like that. Just remember that. Um, but the rest of these keys are trans. Uh, they're transparent. So that means that those keys don't do anything. If you press that button, it'll revert to the the lowest layer. So that's a Y anyways. So if you hold down layer one and then hit that transparent button, it'll turn into a Y anyway, so it doesn't matter. So you can pretty much ignore those. Uh, but that allow that will allow you to open up a lot more action on the keyboard to change what those keys do and add things. Uh, so let's add some, let's do a combination key real quick. I don't know why I switched over there. Let's go down to layer zero. So let's choose this key and we'll turn this into an Alt F4. 
Uh, yeah, you can see that. Okay. So I'll click on here, uh, click this uh, selected key, go to secondary. Uh, I think it's FN. Yeah, okay. FN has combination keys here. So we've got left control, left shift. These are meant to be used in combination with other keys. So we can do uh, left alt. We'll do that one. We'll click that. And then we've got this little line leading down to the next key that's being pressed. So left alt. And then you can choose whatever key you want. We'll do uh, that F4. There we go. So now that key is uh, Alt plus F4. Now, if we wanted to do something different, we could do, uh, so let's do a Control Alt Delete. Um, FN. So we just did Alt. So let's do a Control. So now we can see that's nested one layer down. So left Control, left Alt. And then we'll choose Delete, which is possibly around here, maybe secondary. Yep, there it is. So now that key is a control alt delete key. Um, that's how you can start building things and making things a little bit faster. It might not be that useful on the top. You might want to put that on, you know, layer one or whatever. Uh, but wherever you want to put it, it's, it doesn't really matter. The one thing that is important to note is that uh, this key right here, this reset key, uh, you probably don't want it on top, on that top layer. You don't want it where you can hit it on accident. Um, that's also a really helpful button for like layering to hold hold down things. Uh, but that reset button, when you press that, it tells the, the chip that it's going to be, it's going to get a new file, a new firmware file, a new config file. And when you do that, it stops being a keyboard and starts waiting for the computer to tell it what its new file is. So if you have this on the top layer and you accidentally press it, your keyboard stops being a keyboard <laughs> and starts waiting for upload. So, so you might want to bury that somewhere. You know, we can go ahead and set this to like a, we'll set that to an A or something and we'll go to layer one and then we'll put it in this corner up here in the top right so that it's it's out of the way there we go and reset is what we choose for that now when i press hold down that layer button right here and then press that button in the top right uh, that is when i hold down this button and press this button it'll switch into that boot mode and that boot mode is what we're going to use to write new files to this uh, to, to save new information to this so once we do that, we can come here and download the hex file. So once we get the key map the way we want it to be set up, we go to compile and then download hex. And the hex file actually contains the bytecode that this chip knows how to read to upload the config file, to change the config file. Uh, so once you have that hex file, you can use that. You use a, a loader, basically. Usually um, for QMK, you can use uh, the QMK toolkit. Uh, program it's very useful very good it's cross-platform it's semi semi-automatic you load the hex file in and then say okay get ready for my keyboard and then you press your your boot combination key or your reset combination key and then it detects the keyboard that just flipped into that mode it takes the hex file you already put into it and loads it onto the keyboard and then usually resets the keyboard and then you're done you're, you're loaded um, now the other thing important thing <laughs> Once you've got your key map figured out and you've got it figured out exactly the way that you want it, uh, go back to settings. Yeah, there we go. And then click save configuration. So when you save configuration, this is going to be your new file. This is going to be your version of this. This isn't the version that I set up. It's going to have everything that I set up and all the changes that you made. So next time when you save that configuration, and we'll just save that file. Sigma304.json, that's kind of weird, but whatever. All right, now if we refresh this and we lose all our data, uh, leave page. So now we're back to the beginning. Now, instead of uploading that file that I made, we're gonna upload the one that you just downloaded, the JSON file. That's your configuration. And now we go into the key map. We can see that this is a, alt, a control alt delete. And when we go to layer one, we can see that our reset button is up here. So those are the changes that we made. So that way you can come back in here, uh, reload your firmware, make changes, and then once again, compile, download your hex file. Do, 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 do. There you go, save the file, and then write that to your keyboard and hit your, hit your boot key combination and then have it burn right to the keyboard. Uh, that's pretty much the quick way to, to get going. There's some additional features in QMK that are not accessible on here. Uh, you can access some of those by manually changing the zip file. And to do that, you it says uh, download the source files. You click this file or click that link and then save your file here. And then you get to you get a, a full zip file of all of the things you need to compile QMK with 
all the bonus features, whatever bonus features you want. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions, please put them right into the uh, into the comments for this uh, web zone thingy that I'm talking into YouTube channel video thing. All right, <laughs> bye.